What's up, family? It's great to uh, have this opportunity to share a little bit about where I'm at and the theme of choice today is consequences. So I am going through a phase of seeing things I did not see before, uh, seeing things about myself, uh, behaviors, tendencies, uh, desires that I haven't seen before, and also uh, going through a period or a cycle, a phase of facing consequences of actions. And it's funny because the word consequences to me generally has a negative connotation. The word consequences, I guess, whatever through school or the external environment in general growing up, um, I came to believe that a consequence was a bad thing. And in fact, I'll use that word sometimes and mean it to not be a good thing. In fact, last week, I think I was sharing with someone a little bit about what I was facing and I, I made the statement, uh, consequences are lame. Uh, today, I reflect on uh, the various consequences I'm currently experiencing as a result of certain actions and choices that I've made over the last few years in particular. Um, some of the choices I'm facing I've made over the last uh, two decades, other choices are choices that I've made um, since around the year uh, 2015 uh, that for various reasons are showing up right now. And I tend to focus on facing the choices I've made that have outcomes that aren't making me feel very good and seem to be putting me in a position, putting me, see, playing the victim, and I seem to find myself in a position where I'm having to um, address certain fears that are arising because of their choices. I'd like to also mention that there are other consequences happening in my life right now, basically outcomes. That's really what consequences are at the end of the day. They're outcomes, right? I mean, they're just events that happen as a result of the choices I make, right? So there are these other consequences outcomes happening in my life that are a result of choices I've made that I find incredibly nourishing and fulfilling and supportive. Um, you know, I haven't ever felt the level of contentment, peace, comfort, and love that I currently feel. And I'm doing things now with my life and with my time that I didn't have the, de I had the desire at some level to do, but I didn't have the um, energy or I didn't think I was ready or I didn't think I was capable and I now do. And so I'm experiencing consequences that I find pleasing <laughs> and I'm also experiencing consequences that are not so pleasing, but they're all my consequences. And the fears that are surfacing as a result of the consequences that are not so pleasing are calls to act. So I have a choice. I can look at the consequences that are not so pleasing and I can say that I can listen to that voice. I've, I've talked about having two voices. I have two voices. I have a voice that's encouraging and I have a voice that's discouraging. And the voice that's discouraging says, you are not to be trusted. You make choices that are not good for you. And you make choices that lead to these outcomes that are uncomfortable. The funny part about that voice that says those things and is not encouraging is the very same voice that drives me to make choices that lead to perhaps some level of instant gratification, but they end up being the unhealthiest choices. So the voice that encourages says, you made that choice. Own that you made that choice. Recognize that this is the outcome of that choice. 
and recognize that you are not alone and recognize that you have the power and you have the capability to move through the consequences of this choice to make amends if needed to start anew to renew to reset to refresh and i am most grateful for that i am most grateful for my ability to today to face the choices that i've made uh to recognize both consequences that are pleasing and consequences that are not pleasing and recognize both types of consequences as beneficial to me and supportive of me along my path so uh thank you so much for taking a few minutes to listen um to this share today and i have a seminar coming up on october 20th be on the lookout for uh some more information about that until then i love you all